Welcome back to some top level StarCraft 2 and or the final takeover of the machines. Google's DeepMind has released replays and information on its final iteration of Alpha Star, which was unleashed upon the European ladder and has achieved Grandmaster as Protoss, as Terran, and as Zerg. We're going to be watching Zerg in the bottom right here of King's Cove up against a Grandmaster Protoss player. We watched the Protoss side if you check the earlier video. Uh, I'll be breaking down all of them with a longer video at a later date, but I'm filming these a split second before BlizzCon and getting on a plane, so uh, I, I hope to learn more information there as well. But just things to note. First, Alpha Star, um, it has more restrictions on it than ever. There are restrictions on actions per minute, restrictions on how it can control the camera. It, it has been described as, as almost uh, eerily human, but also very much not so by by some of the professional players that have looked at it and we've seen some of these replays before you might have found uh well some of them were leaked some players suspected they played up against alpha star and apparently they were correct as some of these have corroborated but google has anonymized the replays and, and simply defined them by this is alpha star and this is the league of the opposing player but these are just normal ladder games and I, I don't think Alpha Star's Star is going to suffer from the anxiety or the tilt uh, or the, well, all of the other things that come with playing ladder on the most competitive and stressful game in esports. The things we saw in, in earlier iterations and, and the things we saw in the big presentation with TLO and Mana, uh, one, Alpha Star only played Protoss. And, and according to the statistics, that, that was the race that had the highest MMR and, and win rate at the end of the day. So, similar to a, a normal StarCraft player, the, the race that a player has played for the longest, the most accomplished, most experienced. But it spent a lot of time working on Zerg and Terran through various methods. I'm not going to get into detail about things I, I'm not qualified or knowledgeable of at this time, but there will be an academic... Uh, paper from what I understand on top of just the article you'll find in the description what are your thoughts uh, with, with your your backseat armchair artificial intelligence or regular intelligence because right now uh, I know there are a lot of different opinions on it but so far getting into the game alpha star has opted six zerglings early on actually losing the drone as it goes for the third the protoss the human protoss grandmaster protoss putting a lot of harassment um, between the early probe distracting, killing drones now with an adept. Alpha Star, pretty, like, pretty sloppy. Like, you should not be losing three drones to the first adept. That's very simply, that is, that is something you'd consider pretty unacceptable at the professional level. But, uh, it's not clear where Alpha Star is at at the moment. But plenty of Zerglings as a counter response. We will see. A, plen uh, a couple shield batteries are the choice. Oracle is out. Hmm. I. At this point, a, a little bit. It's not going to get better. It's not going to get easier. Interesting split there with the Zerglings. Overlord spotting for the third. Two oracles out thus far. There is the Stargate in the main. Alpha Star does not yet have a lair. Uh, it, it appears like... I, I, I'm trying to break it down here. I'm going to go to the Alpha Cam for a sec. That, that's a fun name. It appears that Alpha Star, like many players, uh, built a bunch of Zerglings, was hoping to get some damage done, and then it just didn't happen. Like, the oracles are ripping things up. The zerglings happen to find some adepts, so that's pretty convenient, but a queen is dead. Oh, Brenda. I don't... It's... This is a lot of harassment here. And there's probably not an HR department that Alpha Star can go to. I... This is getting really rough to watch. Wow. 
17 drones killed. Yeah, you got a couple of depths, but Alpha Star has been dismantled here pretty solidly, I will say. Bunny of Adepts being sent out. Alpha Star had actually less APM than our Protoss player, which kind of makes sense based on the, the type of plays they've been making. Alpha Star just running a bunch of Zerglings around and losing drones to Oracles. Whereas, you know, this is an interesting move by our GM Protoss. It looks like he wanted to try to wall off the probe there. Oh no. Adepts are in the third again. More drones are going to die. Alpha Star just no regard. For his drones, he's, he's sympathizing. He's empathetic with the Protoss. His first race was Protoss. Some of his best friends are Protoss. He wants to lose more drones. Or uh, the, the multi-pronged harassment. Uh, we saw it in the Protoss iteration of Alpha Star. Be looking at the Terran as well, but really does seem to throw it off. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to have the experience that you'd expect a, a human player to have. Uh, at, at predicting what's going to hit in what location next. Because Protoss has very strong harassment units, but there aren't that many of them. Uh, between Adepts and Oracles and maybe Warp Prisms, those are really the only options. But if you're a little bit out of position or don't quite have the preparation, that's how you lose things like 24 drones. And that's where we are right now. Alpha Star with some counterattack harassment here. The Zealot's going to be taken out by the Zerglings. Are there any upgrades yet? None on either side, but plus one has begun for our human Protoss. Meanwhile, Adepts working on the fourth base of Alpha Star. Also taking a fifth, just mass expansions. Interesting. They're just Zerglings for response. Roach is on the way. Is the lair done? There's still no lair? Are you crazy? I mean, I don't know if we could describe it as that, but... Alpha Star with no lair yet. That I wouldn't call this so much an ingenious play. I would say this is a, a massive oversight or a blind spot. At this point, if you had roaches with speed, there's a real possibility you could go across the map and and potentially kill the Protoss. Maybe maybe not, or at least put pressure onto the third base. So it's like Alpha Star is just going to go for it either way. Roaches, Ravagers, Zerglings. Who needs a lair when you could just try to kill it? The army supplies 74 to 32, but none of these units are reliable damage against oracles. Queens on the other end, Brenda and her knitting crew. It appears Alpha Star's a big fan, taking inspiration from Cyril, who's done many attacks like this in the past. Every Zerg has tried their hand at it to limited success. There's no Nidus. There's no Overlord speed with drop or anything like that. That ain't happening. There's no lair. You just gotta walk across. We'll get there sometime between now and next week. But eventually, the Queens will provide the anti-air that this army needs. The Grandmaster Protoss player uh, looks like no indication of counter-harassment. Alpha Star has five hatcheries of Zerglings, continually building Ravagers. That is a lot of Zerg. Alpha Star gonna try to end this before Lair Tech is even started. Eight and a half minutes in, 56 drones, but we're going for it. That's, that's about as close to full saturation on three bases as you need with just minerals. Just going up the ramp, staggering corrosive bile. The Zerglings not wanting to get hit by the splash damage here. I'm going to go to the Alpha Cam, see how Alpha Star tries to control this. All right. Force Field's doing a good job so far. The Zerglings trying to figure out what to do. Queen's not finding much. It appears Protoss is hope. Uh, also an interesting point. When does Alpha Star GG if it thinks it's losing? I don't <laughs> but uh, maybe not an argument to make yet, but this is a solid defense from Protoss, who has upgrades, more economy, now, making sure not to get supply, but Zergling's looking for alternative options, but Revelation will spot them out. There's a hard wall. There's multiple shield batteries. These roaches... Very optimistic. There's still no lair. There's plus what a six hatchery. Okay. With the uh, Brood War school of macro. Just build more hatches. You got more lava. You got more zerglings. 
Corrosive Bow is actually landing. That's what could break the back of this defense. Stasis traps being triggered on nothing too important here. Maybe Protoss was a little bit too greedy. That's a lot of Ravagers, and, and the whole knitting crew is here. All the Queens. The Oracles could be targeted down. Transfuses are landing on the Queen, taking the most damage. Protoss's defense crumbling under the Roach Ravager Queen. It, it appears there was maybe a little bit too much investment in infrastructure. Wait, no, 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 they were all gated at the natural. There were a couple of mortals stuck behind. This fight's still super close here. Plus two attack and plus one attack finishing on either side. None of the workers have really been touched quite yet, but the probes are gonna be falling very soon. Archon microed back my Protoss. Ravager still staggering out corrosive bile. I wonder if this is a scenario where the APM limitation is actually helping Corrosive Bile be staggered. I'm not sure yet. But the third base will be ripped to shreds. This attack, it looked like it was held back, but the second and third and fourth waves and the continue. Oh, now's the time for a lair? And of all locations, Alpha Star picks the sixth base. You can't put creep tubers there. Wait, how does it even try? That's an interesting argument. But the Queens. Uh, corrosive Bile and, and Protoss, you got to be kicking yourself a little bit. Uh, a, a bit more investment in maybe shield batteries. Oh, the Queen. Oh, no. Oh. Why did they leave us behind? It's not over yet. This is still... Well, once plus two finishes and plus two is done, these Immortals and Archons, especially without Queen support to maybe snipe the Prism... The, the stopping power of this Protoss army. Immortals and Archons. The the fist and forearm of Protoss just smashing through into the flimsy Ravagers and Zerglings and Alpha Star getting a lesson in the power of Zombie Toss. But wait! There's Zerglings in the main! The counterattack was good. Protoss a little bit sloppy, not leaving any units into the wall. It looks like it's going to be an all-in attack. 27... 27 workers up against 55. Alpha Star doesn't have a huge economy. Finally getting that roach speed. Some, well, units trickling out and getting picked off. But the Zergling's still on the run. Alpha Star reaching 300 actions per minute. Still about 200 below Raynor. But uh, a respectable number. Let's go to the Alpha Cam. It looks like now all Alpha Star has to do, after breaking the third and a nice counterattack to gut the economy, is set up a final defense. So far, uh, a bit of, well, I wouldn't say an unorthodox attack, but kind of late for the attack of its type, but a huge commitment. Queens. Roaches, Ravagers, and Lings, and, and still more of the same back at home. This is all in from Protoss. He's got a hold, but guess what? Down goes the Prism. Alpha Star with the full surround. The Stutter Step on top of the Immortals, and everything is going to crumble. Alpha Star and the Machines will be victorious. No GG. And down. It goes. Well, he goes, rather. Alpha Star. So, <clears throat> some things to point out. Highlights. First, the harassment was devastating. It was so bad that I would I would not have been surprised that on the ladder some professional Protosses losing 17 drones and not even killing the Oracles. Like sometimes you just tap out of the game. That's it was super rough. But Alpha Star undeterred continued building bases and, and went for that hatch tech all in which on paper both should not have worked. I mean, on on paper, if the Protoss has enough defense, then you kind of just get stalled out. But the staggered Corrosive Bow, the commitment to pulling the Queens, that made all the difference. Uh, so it, it seems both in executing and committing to a timing like that, Alpha Star, that is, uh, well, well, what it wanted. But there was definitely some some lack of basic defense that even I, I would think diamond players would have against those oracles and adepts early on because I, I it kind of felt like the grandmaster protoss player was a little surprised 
as to how much damage he was getting done. It's like, oh, I guess I just take my third now and <laughs> go about my business. But eventually the roaches and ravagers broke through. Um, hopefully this doesn't mean we'll see a resurgence of that on the ladder, maybe. But, but what did you think? Uh, you can check out all the replays, the article, the information. I think you could definitely see it, and I agree, it was a little bit uncanny how much it looked like one of us uh, meat bags. Especially when it was dealing with that early harass or, or trying to get damage done with the Zerglings. But uh, it, it built an army that I, I don't think is too uncommon in the matchup. And how much did it learn from other people and how much did it learn from playing against other versions of itself? And uh, I know many of the viewers here uh, have a lot of experience in playing with themselves, but I doubt it's helped them to the Grandmaster League. What do you think? Uh, what do you want to see? What information do you think is most important if you've read the blog post or if you've made up facts on the internet? Um, but I, I'm at this point between uh, this is the second uh, game I've randomly looked at from the replay pack, one for me, Trace. But it's super interesting. I'm going to have to go through these replays, some of which have already been leaked in the past. But like and subscribe and all that and leave your comments. This is a hot topic, and I think it, it's super interesting. And I'm super glad they, they chose StarCraft appropriately as uh, the eSport to test this out on. So thank you for watching. Good luck. Have fun. And uh, if you're watching chronologically, Terran is up next. What are we going to see?